your energy forecast for Saturday, October 7th. So today we will see the moon move out of her place of power here in this cancer energy at 3 12 p.m eastern standard time at which point we're going to see the moon go void of course and 7 25 p.m we are going to lock into leo energy so of course the transition from cancer energy to leo energy is always a welcomed one the moon in cancer definitely has us pulled back introverted kind of all up in our feels all up in our heart space let's say in order to navigate where it is that we're holding on too tightly to the old and where it is that we're too hesitant and resistant to kind of switch things up and push ourselves forward in a futuristic type of way of course we brought up all of the thinks all of the feels while the moon was in cancer energy many of us just wanting to curl up in a little bit of a cocoon kind of ride that particular moon transit out so when we move into the fire energy of Leo you best believe that we are feeling a dramatic change in our heart space things are getting fired up things are getting passionate we're getting real and raw and vulnerable again we're getting bold and brave and courageous to make the moves that we've been contemplating making but of course we're not in a time or an energy to support us in making those particular moves as of yet we're in Libra season so this is about gathering the information the insight the perspective the details that we need to have in order to make an informed decision and of course, decisions are not coming at us hot and heavy here in Libra season. We have to weigh the scales. We have to kind of see the pros and cons. We have to explore the gray area in between. So what's also interesting here today is that this is the last day of Venus's post retrograde shadow period. It's also the last day that Venus herself will be in this Leo energy. So of course, there is an astro forecast for Venus's time in Virgo energy. If you want to take a listen to that. And of course, you can bust out your Libra season e-guide and really kind of capture the vibe, capture the focus on where the energy is kind of pointing you in what direction with the thoughts, with the feels, capture it. It is going to make a whole lot more sense looking back on this particular time period. So it is very important to stay in alignment, capture those thoughts and feelings, get them out of your body, get them down. So with 11 different aspects here today, 10 of them are going to involve the moon. The moon, while still in her place of power here in this cancer energy, going to make a very positive interaction with Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we're expressing ourselves. This means that for a very short window of time, we're going to have our heart and our head on the same page, really kind of picking apart, if you will, the smaller details, where it is that we're feeling uncertain where it is that of course we're contemplating the past where it is that we're trying to kind of build towards the future and really kind of making a lot of progress as far as sorting out our thoughts and our feels and recognizing where it is that we're finally starting to see some clarity we're starting to make sense of some things we're definitely getting on the right page the moon and cancer going to make a positive interaction with Uranus. This is a sextile Uranus, of course, the great awakener retrograde in this Taurus energy showing us where it is that we're a little bit hesitant, a little bit resistant to making the changes in our physical realm that we know that we need to make. This is a sextile, which means that we are slowly but surely trying to gauge our heart and our head and understand where it is that maybe we're being too stubborn, maybe where it is that we're being too fixated on holding on to what it is that we've already created really preventing us from seeing what it is that we want to kind of build and create from here. Of course, this Uranian energy definitely going to give us a zap of insight, of aha moments, of epiphanies, really changing our mood, our attitude, our perspective, our understanding, our perception of where it is that we've all grown certain roles and responsibilities and where it's up to us to kind of wholeheartedly accept the fact that we need to move on. The sun in Libra and energy going to make a very awkward interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings, who is retrograde in this Taurus energy. This is definitely going to highlight the indecision, the push, the pull, the sitting on the fence, the feeling pulled in two different directions. 
between our thoughts, between our ideas, between our passions. Of course, this is just helping the Libra and energy see sauce in between the different pros and cons in order for us to kind of find a middle ground. We're definitely swaying between letting go of the old and embracing the new and kind of exploring, if you will, the alternatives, the possibilities that we currently have on our plate. Of course, this is definitely going to be a challenging time to kind of feel good or kind of content or satisfied with any of our thoughts and our feelings. Again, the push and pull is needed in order for us to find a common ground. But this being a time of gathering information and exploring different topics and themes, definitely giving us lots of opportunities to make some finer adjustments. Again, really looking at the old, especially our old patterns, our old narratives, our old habits and behaviors, and just kind of understanding what it is that we want to do differently, what it is that we want to experience. And of course, that means leaving some certain aspects behind. The moon going to square off with the north node in Aries. This is going to create con conflict, tension point, of course, that soul destiny point that the North Node in Aries wants us to get on, that is a futuristic realm, which makes it very hard for the moon and cancer to even get on board because we're too connected, too intertwined, too much about looking back than we are looking forward. So this is definitely going to highlight, again, the push and pull of where it is that we're having a hard time kind of releasing the old in order to embrace the new. But nonetheless, we are making strides in our inner realm to see where that conflict, that tension is coming up for our awareness because that is where change and transformation is needed the most. The moon then going to interact in a positive way with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, who is retrograde in this Pisces energy, really helping us to dissolve, to deconstruct, to detach from who it is that we've had to be, the world in which that old version of self is created, and of course, the old narratives, the old belief system that essentially aligned with the vibration and frequency that we were once passionate about and therefore created the realm and reality out of that now we're not feeling we're not so attached we're not so aligned we want to move on this is a boss up energy we understand where it is that we've outgrown certain chapters of our lives we were we've learned certain life lessons and where we need to move on integrate that wisdom and knowledge in our everyday practice the moon in Cancer going to trine, beautiful interaction with Neptune, who is retrograde in Pisces energy. This is water on water action, which means that this is emotional, this is intuitive, highly cleansing, highly healing, highly transformative. Of course, we need a little bit of a glimpse of our higher self vision, our higher self dream. We need to remind ourselves what it is that we're actively trying to build, trying to create, trying to manifest in our realm so that we don't lose sight of some of the obstacles and challenges that we're currently facing and why it's so important that we continue to bust through them, continue to push on, continue to build towards something new. The moon is then going to make an interaction with Jupiter, a positive one. So this is definitely giving us a little bit of optimism, a little bit of confidence back. This is showing us where it is that we have huge opportunities for growth and expansion at this point, especially seeing how we got a little bit of a glimmer, a little bit of a vision, if you will, reminding us of what it is that we want to move towards this is definitely inflating us in all the right ways, boosting our spirits, renewing our faith, and really putting us in a good position to see what it is that we want to build, what it is that we want to create, what it is that we want to bring to life. Here's where things get sticky, though. The moon in Cancer going to get in the boxing ring, fight it out with Mars. Mars, of course, the god of war. He is in the intellectual battlefield of this Libra energy that he absolutely hates to be in because he can't take action to make moves. He can only think about them. This is definitely creating a lot of frustration and highlighting where it is that we have ants in our pants, where it is that we're getting a little bit agitated, irritated, if you will, with the back and forth, with the should I stay, should I go, with the old versus the new, with the high versus the low and everything in between. This gets exasperated when the moon goes ahead and directly opposes, sits across from Pluto, the great transformer himself, who of course is retrograde in this Capricorn energy, trying to give us another opportunity to boss up, to take that pain, that trauma, that darkness, and turn it into something powerful, something light, something that is going to put us in a position to take our power back and really become the creator, the controller of our own world, of our own destiny. 
Now it sounds like a very, very mystical thing to do, but of course, this Capricorn and Cancer energy sit across from each other in the Zodiac wheel, highlighting for us where it is that we need safety, security, and stability. And even more than that, highlighting where it is that we don't currently have it. This should highlight the area in which we need to pour our time, energy, and attention into in order to stabilize our physical realm, our inner realm, and really see what it is that we have to get rid of in order to clear enough space out of our lives to have the space to bring something new in. It is at this point in time that the moon is going to go void, of course, and reminder, when the moon is void, things are very shaky. Things are very uncertain. We're questioning things. We're doting things. It feels like things are falling apart. However, while the moon is still void, still in this cancer energy, we are going to interact with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, money, who's at these final critical degrees of this Leo energy as she's been building in her emotional strength, in her boldness, her bravery, her courage in order to align with the heart space and do what is right for her. So we're all at the point right now where we're trying to weigh the pros and cons of doing what it is that we've been doing for other people, constantly putting our own wants, needs, and desires on the back burner, or are we going to balance the scales, bring that power back into our lives, really put ourselves back at the top of the list. Again, 7.25 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have the moon shifting into Leo energy. This is definitely going to be felt, again, coming out of a water sign, moving into a fire sign. It lights us up. It dries us off. It kind of reignites a spark, a fire, a flame within us. And we have the moon in Leo making one aspect here today, and it is not a nice one. It is a very tough interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, who is retrograde in this Pisces energy. What this is going to do is A, bring us a little bit of seriousness, a little bit of somberness. Why is that? Well, because we have to have a real conversation with ourselves. Now, the heart and soul of the Zodiac, we're real, we're raw, we're vulnerable. We need to fully understand what it is that's weighing on our heart space, where it is that we have a want, need, and desire to grow past this particular point that we find ourselves in. And Saturn, of course, gives us a little bit of tough love life lessons in order for us to understand what it is that we have to boss up into. And again, following your heart space, honoring your own truth, truly expressing yourself is the name of the game with the moon in Leo energy. So Saturn is definitely here to show us where it is that we've been frustrated, where it is that we've been feeling held back, restricted from truly standing in our truth, truly expressing ourselves, and of course, giving us an opportunity moving into some new energies to do just that. <laughs> 